My name is Rianette Whitehead, founder of The Insurance Apprentice and editor of FA News. Today I am talking to the top three of 2019 of The Insurance Apprentice, Colin Blansky, Matej Laka and Palesa Michani. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be behind the cameras again? It's quite surreal, I think. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> Does it bring back memories? Danger view. Yeah. Oh, no, nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were in season five. By season five, you had a fairly good idea of what you letting yourself in for. Why did you apply? Matesh? Yeah, I think it, the, the insurance industry was evolving sort of back then, probably more now so than back then. And I think what the insurance apprentice has done really well is that it creates real life and practical problems that need to be solved. And just wanting to understand how that happens and be more involved in that um, was what sort of led me to applying in that season. Police. Uh, for me, okay, my answer's not that smart. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty much, I, I remember it was a colleague of mine, actually. She just like, just do it. Um, I guess she had more faith in me than I did. And it was one of those things that you just do bad luck. And I thought it was just bad luck that I got selected. Um, and yeah, really, for me, it was just, let me just try it, something different. Um, something that obviously I'll, I'll have to grow. It's going to help you to grow. At that point in time, I was failing in the industry. Um, but yeah, I, I, I realized later that actually I needed that for growth, uh, not only personal growth, but also career growth. It came, came, it came with a lot of so much growth. Uh, for me personally, yeah. Colin, who ended up as the winner? Yes, I think uh, I had a very similar story. Um, one of my ex-colleagues had been on the Insurance Apprentice and they almost insisted that I join. Um, pushed me through the process to get into the stages where you, know, where you get selected and um, absolutely no regrets. I think it's, uh, especially because I won, I suppose, that helps with the regrets. <laughs> 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 but no, so I think it was definitely an ex-colleague of mine and, and they, I think, maybe saw some potential or maybe they thought I needed some growth and, and that's why they pushed me in that direction. Either, either answer is a good one. Um, I know it's been a while, but looking back, what was what was the highlight for you, Palisa? Maybe we can start Ooh, with you. What was the highlight? I think the highlight was meeting, like I know it's too cliche, meeting these guys, meeting everyone. Um, I think the biggest thing about the insurance apprentice, yes, you grow, it gives you so much growth and everything, but it also helps you with networking in the industry. You know, you, you walk away with so much network that you, that you have created. And for a longer run, if you really realize that it helps you in your career because of how big or small the industry is, you're always going to need a partner to bounce ideas with. Um, you're always going to need someone to direct you, you know, when something, when we have a new emerging risk in the industry, there's someone that you know that will um, help you. So I think that was the, my biggest highlight that you, the takeaway from it, the, the networking that um, you get to, 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 to get from the whole experience, you know, I think that was, for me, it was amazing. Colin, your biggest highlight, your highlight and maybe also your takeaway. Um. So I think um, my highlight was the whole process, you know, getting to meet everybody and um, some incredible people behind the scenes and in, in front of the camera too. Um, the experience itself is to have an opportunity to see yourself on camera and how you come across and how you present. The challenges were amazing. Uh, I think my the challenge I enjoyed the most was the presentation in front of the school. That was a fantastic day. I really enjoyed that. And then also the friendships that I've taken out of that, you know, I'm still friends with a lot of the contestants. Um, and obviously the trip to Lloyd was incredible. <laughs> that was amazing. That was probably, the, of all the prizes, that was the one that was the cherry on top and I think added the most value. Matish? Sure, I'd, I'd have to sort of almost echo the sentiment of, um, of Palisa and Colin. It, it has to be the people. So anyone that knows me well knows that I'm sort of this ambassador for love and kindness. And entering into the Insurance Apprentice five years ago, um, I would have never thought I would meet so many like-minded people, similar people, good human beings and authentic human beings. And that's something that's stuck with me since. And maybe as a takeaway, the from our season to the most recent season um, ending tonight, the integrity of the contestants. So mm -hmm. what I've always seen is that 
the contestants always play the game and they don't play the players. Mm -hmm. And I think that what we need today is high levels of integrity in leadership and we need to make sustainable long-term decisions that balance a broad set of stakeholders. And I think that the future leaders are looking bright in that regard. Yeah, I agree with you. And it's so, it's so nice for us to showcase these leaders and that is part of our goal with the Insurance Apprentice. While I am with you, Amitesh, career-wise, give us an update. It's five years? Yeah, five years. I think after the Insurance Apprentice, um, I wanted to pursue my lifelong dream of being a clown. <laughs> and um, so I sort of packed up all of my stuff and uh, was ready to leave for clown college to Cape Town. And then um, the, the sort of um, humbling news came through that I was too old to go to clown college. Um, so then I repivoted into um, trying to upskill, cross-skill and multi-skill myself. So it's been an incredible journey where I completed my master's at Bits Business School. I did my Lean Six Sigma Black Belt and I sort of subsequently went on to become a certified director with the Directors Association, um, a professional director and as well as more recently a fellow of the Insurance Institute of South Africa. After a few progressive roles at Discovery Insure, I served a term as an advisory board member for GIFS, um, a company of which its purpose is very aligned mm -hmm. to mine, being insurance education. And today I manage a self-captive business for Tracker, um, Tracker Financial Services, a company within, <coughs> sorry, the broader Tracker group, um, where we deal with low-valued um, short-term insurance VAPs, as well as digital insurance solutions and multi-warranty products. I'm so happy that your clown journey didn't work out because you really excelled and um, grow, grown yourself. So well done on that journey that you've taken on, um, Matej. Colin? Wow, well, it's hard to follow that. I feel like I've like been a bit lazy. Um, <laughs> so I think when the insurance apprentice had happened, I just changed jobs and uh, taken on a new role in, in my current brokerage. I currently still work. Um, I think it's just helped me grow as an individual, um, form stronger relationships with different people in the industry, and uh, been able to give better advice to my clients. And I think that's always been my priority is, is to be a good broker, give good advice, and help people through those difficult times when you have claims. So a lot of personal growth, but uh, it doesn't sound like a lot when you really no, talk you, about those um, and, and you And yeah. you as a broker play a very important role. So Please never underestimate the role of the broker. Um, so, Balisa. Uh, woof, I've been around. <laughs> um, when I was part of the, the apprentice, I was with Holland. And then I moved from Holland. I joined the city of Joburg municipality. Um, I was heading up their insurance book there, which is quite big. I think they have a total assets valued at like $2 billion. Um, so it was their, their buildings, literally the roads that you see, the stadiums that the city owns, the vehicles that the city owns, the people that work for the, city, the employees of the city. So I was heading up that. Um, I was there for about, I think, th almost four years. And then I left. And then I left. Now I'm currently at Standard Insurance Limited. Um, it's a division, it's an insurance company division that it's under Standard Bank. Um, so yeah, now Standard Bank has an insurance company. So there I'm a portfolio underwriting manager. Um, so we do commercial. And our biggest product obviously is um, sectional titles. So that's what I head up. So we do do a bit of motto there and there, um, those specialized um, covers. But because of we've got more specialized people in the industry that have more experience, uh, we don't tap into that space a lot. So we tap into more commercial and more sectional titles. So yeah, they, that's where I am currently. Um, it's all good stories, and I feel I feel the influence of the insurance apprentice very clearly in all of this. Um, short one. Watching this season, if you had, if you could enter again, would you? I you know I, I would, but I think I'd sort of do it differently. I think I'd try to be a villain this time. I think that what it sort of lacked. Um, I know it's sort of <laughs> contrasting to my previous comment of the high integrity and um, sort of characters that. That do take part in it, but I think what it needs is someone to play the players, mm -hmm. maybe maybe for the benefit of and the theatrics of the crowd and the audience. It's important, right? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be willing to take on that role. <laughs> Lisa? Um, I think also I'll also take part. I'll also I'll also do it again. Um, I think most 
I think everybody will speak about the same thing. The growth that you get from from being being there, it's amazing. Um, you're never gonna get that grow, growth anywhere else except the the TIA. Um, so for the growth purpose, I think I'll do it not for the villain because I'm not I'm such a cute person. I can't do that. I'm too pretty for that. <laughs> but then just for the growth, and I'll definitely do it. Yeah. Yes or no, Colin? Oh, we're out of time, so just yes or no. I would. I felt like I already have, but uh, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, guys. It was Thank fantastic you. to catch up. This is me, Rianette Whitehead, signing off.